Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice delivering you that WWE pay-per-view reaction. And as always, guys, remember if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring, baby. And you're from the US and you want to get the latest discount, the latest promo for US Bet, one of the finest leading betting apps, betting sites in the United States. Click on the link description and click on the link and you'll get at least a 10% cashback. Or if you already have an account, you can always click on the promo and write Red United TV, which will give you 125% bonus in, redemp in redemption and etc. But guys, you are here for your WWE pay-per-view. And let's get straight to it started because it was SummerSlam, baby. Yes, the biggest match of the all. For the last time, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, guys. And what a fight it was indeed. But before we get there, as always, let's start off with the main start. The first fight of the night. Yes, it was Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Yes, against the toughest, the roughest, the smartest Bianca Belair for the WWE Raw Women's Champion. Well, Bianca Belair winning that game, winning that fight, delivering the KOD to Becky Lynch, uh, which was a good start to the show as well. Um, Becky Lynch giving, I mean, I'm sorry, Bianca Belair giving Becky Lynch the manhandled slam, which was lovely to see after Becky Lynch tried her. So giving the manhandled slam. But Bianca with a Spanish fly on, and then the KOD, one, two, three. Redemption from the EST for the last time in SummerSlam. And I think she got ass whooped within eight or ten seconds by Becky Lynch. So it's redemption for Bianca Belair, the EST, finally retaining the WWE Raw Women's Champions. What a good start it was for SummerSlam. I was enjoying it. And then the next fight, Miz versus Logan Paul. Logan Paul is living the life. A YouTuber making sensational views and etc. Turning to having a fight with Fred Merrifield. Now living the life, being a WWE superstar. Having three fights and pay-per-views so far. Hats up to Logan Paul, who gave a phenomenal performance, guys. A phenomenal performance. And Logan Paul did tell us that he was going to own The Miz. The Miz, who's known for having tiny bows, showed exactly what he was Showed exactly why he has tiny balls, guys. Yes, he got his house whooped by Logan Paul. Oh, AJ Styles coming out for to the aid of Logan Paul because, of course, Champa was getting himself involved. And, of course, the Miz wife always gets herself involved, as always. You know that, guys. Yes, there came a time when the Miz was just about to strike Logan Paul with this new card that he had in his chain, the one that he... It, attacked Logan Paul. Yes, he was going to go and hit him with that, but Logan Paul ducked out the way, just narrowly missing his wife as well. The Miz noticed that he was just about to hit his wife, so he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next thing you know, he turns around and a low blow. A low blow. Uh, sorry, he not even turns around. What He turns around, misses as well. One of the things that really excite me the most is oh, the frog splash by Logan Paul. The frog splash on the announced desk. And the announced desk today got it. It got it not just once, but twice during tonight's show. But uh, yes. And then Logan Paul giving Miz a taste of his own, his own move. The frog cross finale delivered to the Miz. One, two, three. Logan Paul is living his life, guys. He has just won his first single match against the Miz, which, of course, which they, I have been rivals for the past few shows, few months, especially what happened last time in the last pay-per-view that they were together and the Miz suddenly turned on him. Good on you. Your tiny balls got crushed, the Miz. Moving on. The youngest Money in the Bank winner, Theory versus Bobby. Oh, mighty Lashley, the mighty Lashley. And you know what, guys? That, that match didn't even last long. It was done quickly because the Miz got his ass whooped at the end of the day by Bobby Lashley. Let's be real. Let's be honest. And that was for the United States Championship. Quick match. Bobby Lashley... 
Give them the hurt locks. Fury tapped out. Fury saying that he was going to own the night. Did he end up owning the night? You'll find out as you guys are watching. He didn't own that night against Bobby Lashley, but he got sent back to the locker room packing. The next fight, the Judgment Day versus the Mysterious. And the Judgment Day has been causing havoc on the Mysterious for the last couple of months. If you've been watching SmackDown and Raw, his, but I'd say it was a good start. And of course, Rhea Ripley was going to get herself involved in that fight as well. We was like, get your ass out of the way. And it's unfortunate because Rhea Ripley is a woman and no one is allowed to hit a woman on the show. Never have been. I've never really seen it. I've, I have seen at times where women have been finessed by certain wrestlers, but <laughs> but today it was what it is. What it is. But what a surprise! What a surprise! As Edge came out, Edge came out to crash the fight, crash the match in the middle of the match to seek vengeance, and you can see the vengeance in Edge's eyes to come for the Judgment Day, and yes, he did. And the Usos, I'm sorry, the Mysterious. Picking up that win from a pinfall and assist by Edge. What a win for the Mysterios. I'm very sure that it's not over. I know they want Dominic Mysterio to join Judgment Day. We shall see on Raw on the next episode. We will look forward to it. Then the announcer, the guys, the people keep living their dreams and I'm not living my dreams out here. Pat McAfee versus Happy Corbin. Two guys that back in the days that was in high school, whatever, played American football. And of course, McAfee having a phenomenal career. Happy Corbin's career was shortened, ended up in the WWE. Pat McAfee wins with a low blow, giving that low blow back to Happy Corbin. And Happy Corbin wasn't happy once he received that low blow, guys. Yes, he was in pain. While the ref was down as well, he was not down by Corbin. And boy, oh boy, Pat McAfee took a bunch of it. Just give him that low blow right in the kisser. And Corbin was down for Matt McAfee to just get the one, two, three. And it was it. It was done. It was McAfee winning. Going home, the happy man. Next fight. Oh, my God. The Street Profit. The, you know, the Street Profits are up. And we want the smoke. They got the smoke at the end because they faced the Usos for the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions and the Bloodline. Yes, the Bloodline never let us down. What a fight. With the special guest, Jeff Double J Jarrett, guest referee, calling it right down to the middle. Usos retaining their titles with a 1D whew, on Angelo Dawkins. I feel for you, bro. The Bloodline starting the night off really strong because it was going to go down to two, 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 the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Uh, just in the middle of that, Riddle and Seth Rollins had it. They went for it. They had a little punch up where Riddle himself, I don't know, he wasn't medically clear to be in that show tonight. And he was meant to have a fight with Seth freaking Rowling. But unfortunately, that wasn't meant to be. But he came out looking for a fight. And I don't know whether he's aggravated his neck because, of course, he's got a neck spinal disorder, spinal pain injury that he had. And Seth Rollins gave him a stomp. And that 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 spinal injury being stopped further down, you know, with further pain. And Riddle was seeking medical attention again. <laughs> uh, Co-main event, Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. You know what? Liv got lucky. Liv, you got lucky for the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. You got lucky because your ass was getting whooped by Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey was giving it to her, breaking, trying to break that arm, give her the arm, arm lock, everything, whooping her ass. Liv, did Liv really survive? Did she deserve it? No, it's when Ronda Rousey had an upside on arm lock, of course, with both shoulders pinned down to the floor. The referee counted one, two, three. But guess what, guys? There was a controversial ending because while that was happening, Liv Morgan tapped out at two and a half. She tapped out at two and a half while the referee counted one, two, three and gave the victory to Liv Morgan. So Liv Morgan herself was damn lucky, guys, to get that tap, to get the W. She didn't deserve it. It was Ronda Rousey, but Ronda Rousey snapped. She snapped. She had enough. She snapped on Liv Morgan, beat her ass, and also beat the referee's ass too at the same time. 
you know, of one after another. But it comes down to the main event. And what a main event it was, guys. What a main event it was for the WWE Undisputed Universal Heavyweight Champion of the World, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. And it was a showdown. Lesnar coming now with a tractor. And, and he did say he was going to give give Roman Reigns a country ass beatings. So he came down with a tractor. When when he was announcing himself, and Roman Reigns was getting announced by the ring, the ring announcer, he jumped out of nowhere, brought Lesnar from the top of the tractor to just start off the fight, whooping his Roman Reigns ass. But there was turnovers. There was turnovers at times. You know, the 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 chief counsel, the trusted counsel. Came out of nowhere as well, trying to plead to Brock Lesnar. Like, Brock, please, no, no, you don't need to do this. While Brock Lesnar was whooping Roman Reigns as poor Heyman was begging, and then we got distracted. That's when Roman Reigns took over, whooping his asses with the with the steel steps and etc., pulling through the pulling through the test, and then Brock Lesnar out of nowhere countering that, turning things around, taking that tractor, tilting the. WWE ring just a bit high for no reason. It was crazy. It was crazy. And out of nowhere, the Usos came out to Roman Reigns' defense. But they got wiped out real quick by Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar again beating out Roman Reigns. And then Aston Fury came out of nowhere. Oh, sorry. Fury came out of nowhere, which he did say he was going to cut and cash in the money in the bank. And he failed because Brock Lesnar threw him out, whooped his ass. Told him to get your ass out of here, Fury. Fury yourself out of here. Fury was done. He was done. But Roman Reigns capitalized on that situation. And Roman Reigns beat the living daylights. Still steps. Took the briefcase. Smashed it on Brock Lesnar's face. Took his title. Smashed it on Brock Lesnar's face. Smashed it on Brock Lesnar's face again. And smashed it on Brock Lesnar's face again. To the extent that he threw everything at him. The broken announce table that was used once more again. And put him and was put through the announce table by Brock Lesnar. Piece of it was there. Chairs. Steel steps. Everything that Roman Reigns could take. Him and the Usos put it on top. And it was 1 to 10. Brock Lesnar couldn't get up. And yes, Roman Reigns is still... The undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion and the bloodline prevails and stays strong. My guy, Roman Reigns. Yes. Yes, guys. I enjoyed that because I wanted Roman Reigns to win. And that was the last time we will ever see a Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Maybe a while since we'll probably see a return of Brock Lesnar. We just don't know. Will we even see Ronda Rousey? Will she get punished for attacking the referee? Because you do get that. Will she get a fan? We shall see. But guys, that is it. What a night it was for the SummerSlam 2020. To you let me know what was your favorite fight. Was it Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, or was it Liv Morgan versus Rousey? Or was you just shocked between what happened between Riddle and Seth Rollins? Or you just picked up the Usos for what they're doing, being the one of the most dominant tag teams champions of the WWE? But guys, as always. It's your boy Ivor and Spice. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and press your notification bell up for the next time I release a video. You'll be one of the first to get that as well, guys. But as always, remember we are back at it again for the catch up, the season preview for Manchester United. And as always, for the WWE Universe, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it reunited. Your boy is out. Peace.